the right let's talk about std class std object so let's create a simple json string i have actually it created i'll just paste it in here to save time so i have created a person variable which has a json string which has first name and age so now if i want to convert this json string into an array a php array there is a function called as json decode and we can just pass person string in here and i'm going to print this and if i refresh you see std class object instead of an array i guess is what you had anticipated so what is this std class so basically std class is nothing but a utility class or a kind of generic class in php and you can create any objects of std class so you do not need to create a class called as std class it's a utility class which is by default present in php so it's actually very handy to have this kind of functionality so you can also call it as an empty class because this class does not have its functions or any properties it's a kind of empty class as good as this class person this is an empty class it does not have any properties any methods inside it so std class is also php's empty class so this is a kind of uh, one way in which you will uh, you will you know come across std class and obviously just a quick tip if you want to really have json decoded array then you can pass second parameter as true or one so it will give you array instead of std class so this was one uh, scenario where you would occur uh, you you would come across std class but main purpose of std class why it's created in php is when you convert or you cast the primitive types the scalar types in php into an object so for example if you have a uh, friends array and you have let's say john again peter let's say last step by now let's say friends obj is equal to object friends so what we are going uh, doing it in here is we are type casting this array into an object using object keyword so now i am going to print our friends object and if i refresh you can see std class object so what you did you converted a kind of a, a variable which is an array into an object using type casting and you got std class so an object i mean when you convert any type you can also convert a string so let's have a string in here hello world you save it and refresh you can see scalar type it's a scalar type as i mentioned hello world you can also convert string uh, integers you can see it's converted to integer so let's try about null just out of curiosity it gives blank because it does not have any but still it created a object even if it does not have any property because null is nothing but still it created the object so you can see it's mainly created to convert the the primitive scalar types into an object but how we can utilize this internal functionality to our benefits so basically you can just create an std class let's say person is equal to new std sorry std class oops person name john do person age is equal to 
and then you can just echo person dot name is person age yes old okay so if you refresh this you get john doe is 30 years old so you wanted uh, a object but then you do not need to create a class for this you can simply add i mean create a std class object and then you can assign different properties to it so it's a kind of very handy way to create uh, these kind of uh, 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 std class objects and assign them different properties also let's dive into more uh, practical example and why actually i like to use std objects instead of arrays so let's create a class person again let's have a constructor public function oops and i'm going to pass person details or let's see just details and in the first case i'm going to consider it as an array instead of a studio objects so let's first do it the usual way and i'm going to say this details is equal to dollar details okay and let's just create another function public function return or get hobby let's say get h because we have that and it's going to just return this dot details not dot actually this details and then h now let's create the details object so for john let's just create an array let's say name oops john doe H thirty, and now let's create the John object. Let's let's call it John details. Let's call John is equal to new person, and let's pass John details in here. And you can do echo John. Get it, get H, and if I refresh, you will see 30. We get, but one thing which I really don't like is uh, in this kind of architecture, which is uh, nothing like performance oriented, but just a kind of standard practices is in object oriented programming. If if this is actually a kind of object oriented way, I do not like to have uh, a value accessed using key of something. I, I I would rather like to have something like this. It looks more object oriented to me. So what do we need to do to accomplish this? In this kind of example, we can use std object in std class. So instead of this, let's just say std class. It's not required to have this kind of type hinting in the argument, but it's good to have because when you read it again you know that this is an object which is uh, of std class so now instead of having this john details an array we can use new std class we can have john details dot sorry uh, name john do and again john details age is equal to 30 and now I am passing this std class object into here and if I refresh I get the same result but now this is actually very efficient because I, I mean I find it very uh, object oriented way to use kind of this kind of way instead of having you know array and then you know using the key to get the value of it so it's look like more clean for me and also there is a shorter syntax as well so you can just have array in here 
same as array in here and just when you pass it passes as object and it's going to do the same for you because it's internally converting this array into std object of std class and passing it then passing it to the construct of person class so if i refresh it's going to give the same result if you want to just see what we are getting just print r the same what we are getting in here let's just comment echo for a second see std class object with name age so this is exactly what we want so it's a kind of very handy way to structure your code rather than just you know uh, using std class i mean let, letting php use std class for type casting and other stuff actually we can use this so thanks for your time and i'll see you in the next video